Hey there, savvy investors and fellow Netflix fans. Welcome back to Ajamuja, your go-to channel for all things finance and entertainment. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, so you won't miss any of our future videos on market trends and analysis. Today, we're diving deep into the recent 9% fall in Netflix stock. Let's get started. Netflix, the streaming video leader, recently experienced a significant 9% decline in its stock value. Despite impressive subscriber gains, the company fell short of revenue expectations. But why did this happen? Let's take a closer look at the data to understand the factors behind this market reaction. In the second quarter, Netflix reported earnings of $3.29 per share on sales of $8.19 billion. While earnings showed a 3% growth compared to the previous year, sales increased by only 7%, missing analyst forecasts. The third quarter outlook didn't alleviate concerns either. Netflix projected earnings of $3.52 per share on sales of $8.52 billion. However, analysts expected higher figures at $3.23 per share on sales of $8.66 billion. Despite the revenue setback, Netflix's subscriber base experienced robust growth. The company added 5.89 million subscribers in the second quarter, surpassing expectations for a gain of 1.81 million. With over 238 million subscribers worldwide, Netflix's subscriber growth is a significant achievement. One of the key factors affecting revenue was a 1% decline in average revenue per membership on a foreign exchange neutral basis. This was attributed to a higher mix of subscribers from countries with cheaper service plans and members choosing less expensive subscription options. But it's not all bad news. Netflix has undertaken strategic initiatives, like its paid sharing program and advertising supported service offerings aimed at driving revenue growth and enhancing profitability. Following the earnings report, several investment firms revised their price targets for Netflix stock. Some remained cautious due to the revenue decline, while others remained bullish, expecting positive impacts from Netflix's subscriber conversion initiatives. In conclusion, the 9% fall in Netflix stock was a result of revenue miss and a conservative third-quarter forecast. However, the company's impressive subscriber gains and strategic initiatives provide hope for future revenue growth. As investors, we'll keep a close eye on how Netflix addresses revenue challenges and maintains its subscriber loyalty. That's a wrap on our analysis of the recent Netflix stock dip. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your fellow investors. And, of course, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join the Ajamuja community for more exciting finance and entertainment content. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy investing and happy streaming!